Fun fact, I'm allergic to dogs. <laughs> she says as she holds a dog, hey mama. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sharon. Happy Vlogmas day 12. Today we are wrapping presents. It's kind of like the halfway point to Vlogmas and honestly I am so over all these presents taking up space in my room so I figured you know what? I'm done Christmas shopping. Let's wrap them and make a video out of it. So you're gonna come along with me as we wrap these presents and I will also show you what I got everyone in my family and my friends. So it's kind of like a here's what I got them and also help me wrap it. If you want to see more videos like this, like I mentioned this is Vlogmas day 12 so you can definitely go binge the rest my vlogmas videos and my vlogmas playlist. Fluffy, come here. I'm sitting on the ground so I'm at Fluffy's level. Come here, mama. Look, Fluff. <laughs> You're so dirty. <laughs> you can also give us a pause up or a thumbs up <laughs> if you want to see more and if you have any special vlogmas requests, definitely make sure to leave those in the comments below and make sure that you are subscribed and you turn on your post notifications so you don't miss an upload. Fluffy, you're like half sitting in my lap. Fun fact, I'm allergic to dogs. <laughs> She says as she holds a dog, hey mama. <laughs> so we got the wrapping paper from Target. And I absolutely love this aesthetic. We got this gray snowman. We got some red trees, gray penguins, and black and white snowflakes. We got some leftover Christmas cards from last year, some tags. I got this from Walmart. It's just tissue paper. I prefer wrapping paper, but there are some gifts that I'm like, I flat out cannot wrap these. They're going in a bag or a gift box. And I actually found these at Aldi's. Where are my gift bags? Fluff. Hold on. Here we go. By Fluff, she got scared. She gets very scared easily. So we got gift bags, lots of different sizes. I got these from Walmart. I also brought little sticker tags and some extra little gift tags. Target, like really came in clutch. They had matching bows as well, so that's gonna be fun. I realized I totally forgot to grab tape and scissors, and also I had this leftover. Might as well use it and be aesthetic. Some twine, and since I was up, I definitely got some eggnog. Pecan pie flavored eggnog that I found at Aldi's. Y'all, I haven't been able to taste food since the beginning of Vlogmas, and it's because I was sick. Don't worry, y'all. It wasn't Miss Rona. It wasn't COVID. It was just a really bad sinus infection, so it's like my sinuses were all kinds of messed up. I literally could not taste anything. I finally got my taste back today. I bought this forever ago, just waiting for the day I could finally taste it. So we're getting a real quick taste test right now. Please don't disappoint me, dude. <laughs> Damn, it feels good to taste again. This is so good. <laughs> I know there's some people out there that absolutely cannot stand eggnog. I love eggnog like there's no tomorrow. I'm very disappointed Starbucks did not bring back their eggnog frappuccino. But I want to know if you're a fan of eggnog, let me know in the comments below. And if you're not, also let me know. But now let's get to actually wrapping these presents. Dude, that is so good. What the heck? I don't know where to start. I have my list of everyone's gifts on my phone. By the way, all my friends and family out there, if for some reason you decided to watch this video today, don't click off right now or your Christmas is about to be ruined by your own self. So you don't want to grinch it up for you. So that being said, the first friend is Danielle. This is my best friend. I got her four different presents. I know I can wrap some of them. I know one of them is going to gift bag. Like I said, I hate gift bags, but it's a squishmallow. I can't wrap this. I'm not going to attempt to wrap this. I I got Danielle a lot of Squishmallow because she knows I'm recently obsessed with Squishmallows and she always makes fun of them and she always like, not like actually, but you know, like teases me about them. And I sent her a photo of an Olaf Squish that I bought and she was like, okay, hold up. Now that's actually cute. So little did she know I went back and I bought her one. So this is kind of like a joke present, but also something that I know she thought was cute. Danielle is very into makeup and very into Disney, specifically Pixar. Ulta actually put out a Pixar line. I got her an eye shadow palette for Toy Story and I thought it was the cutest thing just because like you know Toy Story you've got a friend in me I thought this was perfect Danelle is a fan of Schitt's Creek I don't know if she likes puzzles <laughs> but I know she loves this show the other thing I got for her is wrapped because I ordered it from Amazon and I'm gonna leave it like this in the packaging this is a hoodie blanket a wearable blanket she's all about comfort and I think this is gonna be perfect and I'm very excited to wrap this one because I'm gonna wrap this like candy we're gonna start with Danielle's presents cool and the gift
gift wrapping videos that I've seen, people just play like Christmas music while they're rapping versus like talking to you. And I feel like that's kind of boring, but I mean, if you wanna play Christmas music, feel free to mute me and then like play Christmas music and watch me rap, but we're gonna talk. Like I mentioned, I know how I'm gonna wrap the blanket. I'm gonna wrap it like a little candy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna basically just tape it down and then I'm gonna roll it until it reaches back to it. And then I'm gonna tie the ends and it's gonna look like just a giant little candy. And I tie the ends with twine. And honestly, probably the easiest wrapping I've ever done in my life. And like also the cutest wrapping I've ever done in my life. I changed the wrapping paper for the puzzle. And honestly, I really can't complain. This was a pretty easy wrap. It's rectangular. It has four 90 degree straight angles. So it was really easy. I used the same wrapping paper for the eyeshadow palette. Pretty straightforward of a wrap as well. I wanted to present these as one present though. So I placed the eyeshadow palette on top of the puzzle and then I tied them together by wrapping twine around them. And then I topped it off with a little twine bow. You know, I got to add that little aesthetic feeling as well. So Olaf, like I said, I stuck him in a gift bag. I stuck him in probably like the prettiest, most aesthetically pleasing of the bigger gift bags. And I stuffed some green and white tissue paper in there because I thought it looked great together. Here's my final batch of presents for Danielle. At the end of this video, I want you to tell me what batch you think looks the cutest. So here's batch number one. Next on my list is my friend Shayla. Now, Shayla, I got a bath bomb from Lush. And I think it's very Shayla. She's kind of like the alt emo friend, for lack of better words. And it's just a black rose. Gorgeous, y'all. It smells so freaking good. I'm very excited about that. I also found this book. It's a personality test book. It's literally called The Book of Personality Test, and it's 25 easy to score tests that reveal the real you. This one, obviously very easy to wrap. It's a book. The bath bomb, not so much. So I don't know if to just like toss the bath bomb in a little bag and wrap this or just like kind of just put them both in a bag, which I think would be the easier route. And that way I'm also using up the bags and the tissue paper. So next on my list is my friend Talia. She loves Disney. She loves Star Wars. She loves the Jonas Brothers. Like this is like my friend that I go to Jonas Brothers concerts with. She wants to get into like vlogging her Disney trips. I found a Mickey Mouse ring light on Amazon. And then I got this at Hot Topic. It's a beauty and the Beast perfume gift box. And it's just a perfume. And then there's the story of Beauty and the Beast. And I thought this was so cute. I don't know what the perfume smells like. I hope it smells good and I hope she likes it. This would have been another easy wrap, but sadly the little Mickey Mouse ring light has one of those little tabs that you hang from hooks at the store. So I just taped that down just to make it flat. So I wouldn't have to punch a hole through my wrapping paper. And then after that, it became an easy wrapping because once again, we love those straight 90 degree angles when it comes to wrapping. The perfume was a breeze to wrap cannot complain about that i wanted to attach these just like i did danielle's so i placed one on top of the other they were a little bit odd because they're not anywhere near the same size but it's whatever i wrap them together with twine added my little twine bow and my little sticker and i love it here's how they look together i think fluffy approves question mark for family first is my mom and y'all when i tell you i struggled with my mom's present i wholeheartedly mean it i feel like she's just the woman that has everything so what do you get the woman who has everything perfectly and luckily enough i was scrolling on facebook and then i saw disney on ice my mom used to take me to disney on ice when i was young so i got her disney on ice tickets she ended up being the most expensive present <laughs> me as a mom i printed out and designed this little card that i'm gonna fold into like a tiny card. It's just Mickey Mouse with the little Santa hat. It says Feliz Navidad and then it says in Spanish, I love you mom. We're going to Disney on Ice. To go along with that, my mom loves stuffed animals. Perfectly enough, I was at five below. I found a Mickey Mouse Squishmallow. So I'm just going to give her the Mickey Mouse Squish and this little card and that's mom's present. This is going in a gift bag because again, I'm not wrapping a Squishmallow. My dad's gift is gigantic and it's packaged. My dad uh, likes to collect little figurines. So I basically just bought him like a collection shelf from Ikea and that is it's over here. It's really long and there's two long pieces, so that's not getting wrapped for a hot minute. I did buy my dad some underwear. I think a man, especially dads, could always use underwear and socks. Might throw this in a gift bag just <laughs> to make it easy because his other present is gonna take all my wrapping paper. Just kidding, I went with the gift box because it's so much easier and listen, Fluffy definitely approved this time. Also, don't worry, I definitely did tape the sides as well. My grandparents, I kind of struggle with because I never know what to get my grandparents either so bath and body works i think is a great go-to for when you don't know what to get someone so this is for my grandparents mima and mario i got them this sleep lavender and vanilla body wash and foam bath and also just the same 
Volume Sleep One in a moisturizing body lotion. This is from the Aromatherapy line. And I didn't just want to leave it at that, so I also bought them, where did I put it? Here we go. Cookies at Aldi. I absolutely love these holiday cookies, and I know Mima and Mario love those sweets, so this cookie assortment, perfect. Obviously, we're gonna bag the lotions, and my gift bag options were honestly very slim. My grandparents don't speak English, so I gave them the only gift bag that didn't have any English words on it. I added some tissue paper as well, and I thought it looked cute. And now for the cookies, obviously a very simple and easy wrap. I added a little bow as well, and one of the little attachable gift tags, and I just wrote, love you, from me. I think this is a really cute present. <laughs> Next is my grandpa Mike, and I know what you're thinking, like, why do you call your grandpas by their first names? I don't know, it's just like what we've always called them. My grandparents don't like to be called like grandparents. My Nima refuses to be called a grandma. She's always like, I'm not old enough to be a grandma, so like, we don't call them grandmas or grandpas. <laughs> but my grandpa Mike, he loves to read and he loves history, so I bought him a book in Spanish about the history of North America. I also bought these at Aldi, German wafers. He is again, just into traveling the world. He used to go on a lot of trips with us and he just loves history and I was like, this is cool. I'm debating if to wrap these just because like this is such a skinny book. This is also like the easiest things to wrap. I mean, they're rectangular, but I also feel like this could be an easy gift bag and I always feel bad wrapping with my grandparents because they're sitting there tearing at it and figuring it out and I'm like, did I make it more difficult for you guys? You know, is that just me? <laughs> Next person on my list is my aunt on my mom's side. That is my Thea Yoa. I got her this champagne toast candle at Bath and Body Works. These giant gigantic expensive candles on one day of the year they're ten dollars y'all when I say I went ham I went ham and the best part is I was still sick so I literally walked into Bath and Body Works and I told the girl I was like listen I'm recovering from a cold I cannot smell I'm looking for this type of smell for this type of woman help a sister out I literally told her not for this one in specific but for my other aunt my aunt Susan on my dad's side for this candle I told her I was like I need something that's like regal something for like a very high class royal woman and then she was like, you like, like pine smell? I mean, and I was like, no, no, no. Okay, how about desserts? Let's try pastries, Christmas pastries. So I got her sugared snickerdoodle. I was finally able to smell them and y'all, so freaking good. I think Susan was gonna love this one and I think Yoa's gonna love this one. It's champagne toast, it's so good. Yo is the type of aunt that I love to go to the bar with and chill with, so me as an aunt when I become an aunt. <laughs> so I got these for them. And then I also got some bonbons at Aldi's. These are actually not bonbons. These are European chocolate truffles also imported from Germany. I did grab the little clear bags that you get at Bath & Body Works and some Bath & Body Works tags just because, I mean, like, it's free wrapping. It's already there. You might as well take it. These, though, I will wrap. Now that I think about it, this Bath & Body Works baggies really come in clutch because I have no idea how I would wrap a candle. I mean, probably like stick it in a gift box or something and then just wrap that or just leave the gift box. But like, listen, this is free. It's easy and it's simple and you just tie it with their own little bow tie and gift tag. So you really cannot complain about that. I guess like the only thing that sucks is it's not a surprise because you can see it, but like it's still a gift and it's the thought that counts. Okay. I did kind of basically get my aunts the same present, but changed it to their personalities. So I did want to change the wrapping paper to their personalities as well. That was my reasoning for it. I also added a bow onto Yoa's so then I was like let me go back and add a bow to Susan's and that's when I added my bow to Shayla's present as well. These are actually my last presents that I'm giving. I'm the designated family wrapper so I have to wrap everyone else's presents excluding mine of course so this is a very busy wrapping day but these are all the presents I'm giving to everyone. I still want to know which group you think is the cutest. I think Danielle hands down has the cutest presents. I mean you can't top my little candy wrapping. Am I wrong though? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video and tagging along with me as I gift wrap these presents that I am so happy are finally out of my room and under the tree. Y'all, that space it was taking up in my room was stressing me out. The second the last present came in, I immediately was like, yep, we're wrapping all of them tonight. Went and got the rest of the stuff I needed, gift bags, tissue paper, and here we are. Anyways, I hope this also gave you some gift ideas, maybe some wrapping ideas as well. I don't know, you tell me in the comments below. I want to know if you are done with your Christmas shopping. I think this is probably the earliest I've ever been done with Christmas shopping and I solely did it just because I wanted to get it done and over with as soon as freaking possible and I didn't want to be rushing last minute because so many people are going to be rushing last minute and so many things are going to be shipped late. That was my other issue. If I was ordering online, I needed to come before Christmas and shipping delays are so real and so bad during the holiday time. So if you still got to go through that stress, I feel for you. I'm so sorry, but not me. Couldn't be me, sis. Anyway, 
anyways, shout out of the day today goes to Reagan. Thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be shout out of the day, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. If you'd like to see more Vlogmas videos, I have a different mix of my Vlogmas this year. This is like the first time I'm doing it in its entirety. So it's a lot of new videos, fan favorites, and classics, and a lot of Christmas mix as well. So you can definitely go binge that in my Vlogmas playlist. And you can also stick around for the next 13 videos we still have left to go. If you have any video that you would like to see from me in specific, leave that down in the comments below as a request. But all that being said, make sure you're subscribed. Your post notifications are turned on. Finish your holiday shopping. And I will see you guys next time tomorrow. Bye.